Ah, hello. Hello, MTI. Hello, everyone. We gotta find Edward today in this push B to jump seed. Hooray! Everyone else in this race is really good, and I'm scared. This race is me, Inven, uh, goodness, Poidrak, Korgs, Dingley, and Fried Potatoes. All really good runners. It's terrifying. Ah. Ah. Reviewing the flags for myself real quick. I think I know what these flags are. This is one of the ones that I'm better at, but like the races are really good. So like, ah, uh, I don't know. Uh. Okay, all my names are properly set up. Now it's just waiting for the race to start, which is going to be a little bit of time. Oh, goodness. I'm getting ready to go. Five more minutes, and we will be off. Please just don't match me up against Invenerable again. <laughs> I want to stop racing against Invenerable. He's better than me. <laughs> Ladder, please. <laughs> please give me opponents I actually have a good chance of beating. Instead of opponents, I keep losing to. is so... Waiting for the ladder races to start is always, like, the worst time, I feel, of the ladder races. It's like, I'm sitting here, waiting for you to start. That's all I'm doing. 
anxiously looking at the title screen, thinking about my opening routing and how terrible it probably is. Because there are going to be mistakes made in this opening routing. Almost certainly. And I know this. Oh, goodness. Reminding myself of all the things is important. Let's remind myself of all the things. All the things. This is probably all I'll do today. It's not going to be a super long stream today, we're just going to do this push B ladder. But I have more streams planned later in this week that are longer and full of more seeds. More things happening. Tomorrow's stream is going to be a fun, a long one. Uh, Wednesday I have an evening stream. Thursday and, and Friday are both going to start earlier than this one and probably go to about the same time as this one is. Maybe a little longer than this one, depending. They're both open-ended. And then, not sure what's going to happen the week over the weekend in terms of streaming. But we'll see. Uh, we'll get there when we get there. Yes, I, I think about my opening routing. Not that it usually changes much, but uh, we're in the one minute countdown, so I should actually like focus and get ready. Yes, I would advise thinking about your opening routing. My opening routing tends to be Baron Castle and Baron Town into Troya. Especially with Rosa Start, I can get exit on her right away. That would be really nice. And we are off. <laughs> you say this, and I'm probably going to be matched up with Invent. I don't want to know, though. Hi, Palum. Uh, guards of some kind giving me the legend sword, that's cool, whatever. Moving on. Let's go, Palum. Rosa and Palum is a decent start. I do not hate this start. If I can find an exit item, we do Cave Magnus before Zot, because I'd like to do that. Otherwise, I'll just do Zot and then go to Cave Magnus after walking up Zot, because walking up Zot will get me exit on Rosa. It's PB to J! Yay, PB to J! Good arrows! I like arrows. That was two sets of Artemis arrows. Nice curse string. I don't have to worry about anchoring now. I am going to loop Baron Town 
because I like looting bear in town. Really don't have to worry about anchoring, especially if I get a Sid. There's a Yong and a Sparkle here. We're going to check the item shop. I don't need any of that. To Troy we go. I'm going to check the town first, for reasons. need those. This is me looking for exits, really. Or other cheeky loot. Grab this key item. Thanks. That that's actually useful. That's a freebie. That is another freebie. Legend Sword Start is good too, because I do have to forge. Things I have to remind myself about push B. Push B is just such an interesting thing. I don't know what's actually faster. We're gonna go grab the characters and then save. Pour them. We have a Dr. Luge at the second spot in, in Dwarf Castle. Edge! Okay, Edge makes this maybe doable. Edge means I can maybe take on the boss that's here. But, we're going to go save first. Do not hit that boss. Uh, edge is fast enough here. Uh, let's put pour him in the front row. Even faster edge. Silver knife, I think, is a, a actually we need boomerang. Silver knife is not an upgrade. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um. I'm gonna probably be a more on offense. Don't think I have a bow, but I have a ton of arty arrows. Yeah, whatever. You're just gonna survive. I guess you can have karate gi. I got Assassin Dagger, access to a boomerang if I need it.
Party arrows and a short bow on Rosa. We've got Palum and Porum for twin cast, which is also a thing that I can do if Porum survives. One thing I don't have is an Odin summon. Or good lit magic. Or lit or thunderclaw. I mean, thunder stuff. I don't think we do enough damage here. Yeah, I don't think I do enough damage here. I don't think I can get enough damage before the Zantetsuken, and the Zantetsuken is death. So it's time to leave. But still, I think having the early edge is good. And exit. And now I know I need to deal with an Odin up there, which is basically just find a Thunderclaw. Well, we're gonna go grab this freebie. Anything I can do, but with just a walk, I'm going to do, basically. If I can do something without fighting a boss, I'm probably just gonna do it. Although, getting underground is kind of a long walk, so we might not do that right now. Like, I'm in the area, let's just do this walk, take care of it. I've got exit. It's not gonna get faster. We may actually stay on the overworld here and go for, like, Antlion, a more traditional opening route. I'll throw non-push B after this. Just to see what I can get. Because I do need a hook. Which is more likely on the overworld than not. Because of... I mean, it's 50-50 hook magma, basically. Roughly. There's a rat tail. We have a Luka key as well. I'm gonna take this rat tail and leave. Um, exit time. Get me out of here. Okay. Do I want to go underground now? I don't really... I don't really want to. I don't wanna. You know what? I don't. It's probably the correct decision with the Luka key in hand, but I don't want to. I have an edge. I want to tear through the overworld. Starting with, uh, this. I want to tear through Mount Hobbs. Get Palom online a little bit. Do I want to tear through Mount Hobbs? We're gonna see which uh, boss this is. No thank you. Tella can stay there with that gauntlet. <laughs> Tella can stay with that gauntlet. That is good info for me though. We're gonna do Antlion instead. The early antlion play on push B. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? This is such a not play. Like, so not a play on push B. But I'm doing it. We're going for early antlion. Is this even randomized? That is a vanilla antlion there. We have ice two now. Pick up life one on my white mages, which is eh. The Baron key, which puts Baron Castle in logic if I want to go there, but I don't particularly. Not early at least. I don't think grabbing a Yong early it makes much sense, although there is another character in Baron Castle that I could want, but this is a pretty solid team. I mean, the double white mage thing is a little amp. We are skipping for bull though, so I guess I'll go antlion or baron next. Do I go in into castle? 
I guess I do go in into castle. Edge, carry me. I'm relying on Edge. Edge, do all the work. Do all the work, Edge. Just, just get me through these fights. Why do you still get Big Wave? That's rude. I mean, I have two healers, but still rude. Go away, Ogopogo. There's the other level 2 elementals. Forum gets cure 2. Oh, you're fine. Okay. I think I have enough speed here to just, like, go burr. I think I can just go burr. Twin, please. I'm like, I'm nine, I'm pretty sure that was the 1 in 255 fail on Twin Cast that we just got. And I mean that 1 in 255. It's like the rarest Twin fail. Please use Palom, that was Palom's stat for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Twins. Got my Vanilla Yong. Got through Bahamut, got through Ogo. Got a Tower Key, that's nice. That's more stuff to go underground with. I want to collect all the things to go underground with. But more importantly, it's like definitely not logical underground access. So logical underground access is Baron, Castle, Ordeals, or Fabul. Basically. Uh, we can give you the Ice Claw, just for extra stuff. I'm gonna steal the Karate Shirt from you. And give it to you, give you a spare Iron Ring that's lying around. And a spare Cap. Oh, you know what, you can have a Silent Staff. Okay. I like to go very aggressive. Why am I going into Baron? The normal way. What am I doing? Why did I do this? <laughs> this is this is not how you do Baron. This is how you do Baron. This is how you do Baron. You charge right in the front door and find Rubicant here, and that, that's fine because I have an, a Yong with an Ice Claw. It's also fine if this is Elements. Flame will still do damage. Not sure if I can time the Ice 2 properly. Oh, that's no damage. Thanks. I think I'm gonna bluff here. Aim, twin, power punch. That's rude. Edge is gonna be chemistry. Flare for a thousand damage. Pretty solid. Rosa, do I have better arrows for you for this fight? I don't need any slumber swords. Ow. You know what I do have, though? Goodbye, Boreas. I don't need that anymore. That wasn't what I meant. I did not mean to bluff there. I meant to go into the item menu, but that's fine. Okay. There's only six people in this race, which is scary. And they're all good. Okay. Done 
with Baron Castle. This is in logic. This is an in logic check, because I have the Baron key. Second Yong is not joining the party. I don't care, I'd rather have the ac access to Twin Magic for now. Twin Magic is very good. Eventually Porum's going to go, but for now Twin Magic is very good. Palum, I do want to try to get up to... Well, I don't need him to get up to warp, really, because Sealed Cave is fine, and we have the Wuka Key already. There's no warp glitch anyway, but... Sealed Cave is kind of fine to walk out of without warp, so I don't really need to worry about warp. Exit is the bigger deal, and Rosa has that, so Porum can go. But for now, we're just going to keep no dupe. Leave the dupe behind, keep Edge and Yon going. Baron Castle, what are you going to reward me with... Okay, that's not Logical Underground access. We'll take a peek at the basement here. No intention of actually fighting it, but I'll take a peek. And then I think we try... either try Zod again or do ordeals. Probably try Zod again. I kind of need a Thunderclaw for that, though. Maybe I just go underground. That's not a free basement. I don't like that basement. I don't like that basement. I think we go Ordeals and then Underground. That's what I'm going to do. Ordeals into Underground. Because Ordeals is fast. Assuming I don't miss any jumps, Ordeals is a very fast up and down the mountain. And I might get a pan out of it. Which is all I'm thinking, is I might get a pan. And I would like a pan. We're not going to loot the hook route. I'm going to loot maybe the Fame Arch walk. And that's probably it. We're probably done looting for the most part. Edge doesn't have good weapons. Mm. Which makes him a little awkward. That glass hat could be very nice though. Okay. Ordeal's time. Let's clear this out. I just want to clear the overworld really quickly. Just do what I can on the overworld, which does not include Zot right now, because Odin is rude there. Might eventually, but not yet. Uh, protectoring is cool, I guess. Um, I'm not going to keep that protectoring. I don't think that protectoring is worth it. Just a thought. <laughs> so this means basically I have to fade Cecil forever, which is fine. We're gonna do some looting in here because I need it. Mute Knife is actually really good for Edge. Bandana, nice. I'm gonna be. I'm not taking Cecil. I'm committing to not taking Cecil. So we're gonna just sell everything that's for Cecil. That's like Cecil exclusive. Should be plenty of Bacchus. White spear, good. I I will take a cane. Cane is fine. But we're committing to no Cecil and probably no Tella. Oh hey, I could get a black sword on my Cecil. Gonna loot a little here. Just a little bit more. I'm trying to find an edge weapon. Anything for edge. That would be better than what he's got right now, which is a lot of things. There are a lot of better weapons for edge. Those are not the, them though. That's our monsters. I don't want to fight the monsters. 
But now I know where they are. I want the bandana. I want this stuff. Yeah, you are safe, you're safe, and then these two are safe. Nothing spectacular there. White Spear is nice for Kane if he shows up. But otherwise, kind of stuck here. Hey, Kane! Hey, speaking of Kane, hello! Welcome to the party, Kane! Welcome to the party. I think Porum is gone. I think that's the correct play, is to ditch Porum. Because I don't need Porum. Porum can go home. I have Kane now. And Kane has a White Spear. And I like White Spear Kane. <sighs> Bandana time. I'm gonna steal Rose's Black Belt. Except I can't. My inventory is full. Oh, I can do it with that. I want the black belt. Someone needs a ribbon. Well, you're gonna get the glass hat, I think. Oh, I reset out of the glass hat. Right, you get the ribbon then. Or a bandana or something. Some, or something, I guess. Let's keep going. Get me underground. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take White Spear Cane. White Spear Cane is fantastic. Especially since I'm not doing ordeals. Because it's Golbez. The, the one boss is Golbez, and it's just a protect ring. I don't need that protect ring. I'm not super inclined to do top of tower right away, because I have the tower key, and I'll have to re -go, go back into tower anyway. So I'm not super inclined to make the jump. Yeah, elements, not worth it. They could be rude. We'll just go underground. Because of the tower key, I'm just not super inclined to do that. Probably first place I'll go is Walking Sealed Cave. Because that's a nice check. We're going to fade Dwarf Castle for a bit. And do Fey March Freebie, and maybe see about the others down there. I can probably anchor pretty well with this team. Because I have a Cursed Ring and a Dwarf Axe, on a, and a base level cane. We are still looking for characters, though, so Dwarf Castle is kind of viable. But we'll start with Tamra. Tamra's the best place to start. Because there's a job dwarf here. Heck yes, I want the Charm Rod. Okay, now I need to toss a whole bunch of things. No, I want... Well, no, I don't need that. I don't need to magnetize. Heck. What am I doing? Charm Rod, definite upgrade for you. And I like upgrades for my white... For my black mage. <sighs> this is actually probably my final team. Genuinely. There's a really good chance this is my final team. And I'm just going to commit to this as, like, the team that I take into Zeromus. 
grab some sirens. Because this is a very solid team. Let's go do Sealed Cave. That was the wrong key. Wrong key. Actually, at this point, I know underground access has to be through Fabul. Oof, that's... So I know either Hook or Magma is at Fabul. So I kind of want to get back there quickly. Because if it's Hook, that's required. If it's Magma, I don't care. But either way, it's not Golbez, so it's going to be an easy boss to fight. Heck. Uh, just 10 GP, whatever. If I happen to brush across the chest, across the chest at this point, I'll still take it because I do want edge weapons. Edge is currently rocking Assassin Mute as my best options for him. An Assassin Mute is not not spectacular. I'd also really like a Thunderclaw. Thunderclaw would be spectacular. But yeah, knowing that... I mean, it could be Earth Crystal and then Zot could be underground access, theoretically, I guess. That's the other option for underground. Fabul could have Earth Crystal and Zot could be my underground. Logical underground. That's a coffin. I don't need to walk that out. I should probably pop a siren, though, to get some levels. I don't need the gapple. I don't need either of those items, really. No, I don't need either of those items. We're gonna move on and loot the rest of it. I should mark that Golbez is gone and Dark Elf is gone, because I know those. Hey, another Star Veil, that's good. I don't have a lot of those. Well, hello. Power Shirt Zeus Gauntlet Room. Spectacular. I can now make Kane go real burr. Kane, congratulations. You're getting upgrades. Kane, go burr. And we'll hand down the black belt. And the karate gi. To other people in the party that can use them. I know how I'm scrambling my eggs. I know how I'm defeating my eggs. I should have actually kept that great bow. It's better than the one I've got. Funnily enough. Uh, this is fine. Well, fire armor can go. But yeah, I know exactly how I'm scrambling eggs. This is really good. Well, probably better for my opponent, because my opponent came down here earlier. Probably. I'd imagine my opponent didn't do Antlion, Baron Castle, and Baron Inn before going underground. And walking up ordeals. Uh, Octo and a Sparkle. Don't particularly care to fight either of those now. We'll deal with them later. We'll do Fame March later. I don't really want to do Fame March early. Let's go pop an egg. Because I'm pretty sure Dragoon Lance Kane is strong enough. I'm going to save, but I'm going to...
Oh, I could totally have taken Odin. It just occurred to me, you can jump in battle, and I can totally have taken Odin. And yes, Kane is strong enough, at base level. Base level Kane, fine. Palum, get up to Quake, that's what I'm looking for, really, on him. Rosa can have some levels as well, for Burst and Blink. Kane gets some levels. Just trying to get everyone a few levels there. I don't need more than one right now. Now we're gonna go run Sheila. So I can get Sheila 1 and then get Fabul. But Fabul has to give a key item of some sort, either Earth Crystal, Magma, or, or Hook. One of those three is in Fabul. And if it's Earth Crystal, then Magma or Hook has to be in Zot. Hook would be great because I have a Rat Tail to turn in. Magma would be eh, because Magma. It's just useless. Then I'm just on a Goose Chase. I do have Lower Babel to take on. We'll probably do that before Dwarf Castle because I'm not looking for... I'm not looking for characters. I'm not looking to add people to the party. I mean, I need char a character check for Eddie, but I'm not really looking to add people to the party. So it's not super high priority. It's just regular objective priority kind of stuff where I'm like, you know what, I'll clear the fast checks first over the chance of it an objective. We're going to check on this. Probably do Zot while I'm up here, regardless of what these items are. I'll take on Zot. If this is Magma, we have to do Fabul or Zot. If this is Hook, I can skip Fabul or Zot. That's Darkness. That's a whole new wrinkle. Do I want to do that walk? I kind of do. I kind of want to be the spicy play. I kind of want to do the spicy play. I think we're going to do the spicy play. After defending Fabul because I don't know if this is Hook or Magma. Or, is it, or Earth, but probably Hook or Magma. It's definitely a key item. This is this has to be a key item, so we're gonna do it. That's funny. Instant Swoon proc. You don't need to do anything here. Love getting the instant swoon proc on the Kaipo guards. I mean, I'll take these level ups. It's not a huge amount of experience, but we'll take it. More experience is still good. This is a guaranteed key item, so I'm going to take it because it's... Worst case scenario, it's magma, which puts me closer to 10. Best case scenario, it's Hook. Which is extremely valuable. Because that's something I need. I need that item. That item is 100% required. Let's check the shop here, because I don't shop enough on Push B. I'm going to take Cabins because I don't shop enough, and I'm probably not going to see tents. <laughs> I really don't shop enough on Push B. And honestly, I'm kind of in the mood to just not do any more shopping. Who needs to shop? Oh, I shouldn't do Zot now, because I have the wrong airship, so we'll put Zot off. Yeah, we'll delay Zot. A bit more. I'm gonna go to the moon. I'm gonna... Let's do tower. Swap airships there. I don't want to take the time to swap airships. It feels slow. When I could just do tower battle. I could just like finish lower battle right now. Because I have the tower key. So let's do this. I mean yes flying to the underground is slow. But like. I want to do lower battle. Two checks here. Then we'll go to the moon. Maybe. I had a little bit of wishy washiness, Which was not great. Let's actually remember that jumping is a thing. That helps. It's just elements up here. I'm not super scared of elements. This is a very low magic spot, and elements' scariest thing is the magic. 
Although Edge really should have a mute knife in his second in his offhand. Yeah, let's give you actually double mute knife. You know, heck it, double mute knife. Double mute knife Edge. That's actually somewhat decent, and maybe worth considering keeping around. Young has fire and ice claws, so he can do bonus damage to either of the first two phases. Kane's got a white spear, which is fine. Edge has mute, double mute knife for extra damage to... Second phase, I've also got Palin with Quack. They're gonna jump. I wanna berserk Edge. Ow! Don't knock Palum down. Palum needs levels. Okay. You're in the second phase? Guess what? Edge does 5,000 damage to you. <laughs> I don't think you liked that. You still don't really like it. You keep bursting people. Ow. That's not really what I meant to do. I should have just cast a spell. Palom should have just cast a spell there. Cue that burst. You're gonna go into a Val form, which means you're now weak to everything, basically. So Kane's going to just wreck you. Elements dealt with. Definitely want to get these levels. Thanks. It's fine. It's a key item. I'll take it. The faster I get double experience, the better. Because then I can just grind this party up and go. Hi, Demist. You're just Demist. You're not a bonus round. You lost your bonus round privileges. So you're just a boss. Just a regular old Demist that exists as a boss in the pool. In the super cannon room. That's now dealt with. Who's gone? Golbez is gone. You know, Demist is gone. Kaipo guards are gone. I think Dr. Luge gave us our starting item. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it was Dr. Luge. And I think here I want to jump out. Once. And then a second time. And then jump out here. And then... Shortcut across that. Shortcut across this. Walk out of the tower. Lower Babel is done. I have the hook as well. So yeah, we're at uh, we're at nine key items right now. Nine key items is pretty solid. This will put me in the Enterprise, basically ditching my Falcon, which is also why I did this. Wanted to ditch the Falcon. Oh, that's just rude. I think we might sell that. For money. Straight up. We might just sell that. Let's raise my hovercraft, turn in my rat tail. That I have. That I should really get to. I should do Zot. Just to clear it out. We'll turn in the rat tail, probably do Zot, and if I get 10 key items, I might just go to the moon. I might just straight up weave and go to the moon. And knock down double gold dragons with a Dragoon Lance. On Kane. Because Kane is good. Kane's so good.
We got a crystal sword. Which, if you know who's on the ordeals, you know why I don't want a crystal sword. I'll take the Zeus gauntlets. Zeus is good. More Zeus is always good. More damage from Edge. Edge is doing okay damage. It's not complete garbage. I'm gonna actually stick a ribbon on you now. It's time. You can have the headband. We're gonna go up to Zot and just clear that out because I'm still at 9 key items. Although I don't need 10 key items before I go to the moon, I just feel real bad about leaving Zot behind because it's a main check. That's not quite as slow as Dwarf. Dwarf Castle, I am. I have some ambivalence towards. I I really don't like Dwarf Castle on push B, if you may have noticed. I, I don't like Dwarf Castle. It's slow. There's two bosses. There's a character check, yes, which could be Edward, which I think I might chase if uh, Edward's not on the moon. If Eddie's not on the moon, I'll do Dwarf. How about that? We'll do Dwarf Castle if Eddie's not on the moon. I mean, I'm going to go grab the freebies from the bottom and probably do a little grind first, but... Exactly, Magus. And if you can't bring Child Riddy to Z, then what are you supposed Like, I want to bring a Rydia wearing a white shirt to Zeromis. That's what I want. I just want Rydia wearing a white shirt in my Z fight. Heal up. Because I do need a heal. We're going to go take Odin. I should have enough power to get just get through Odin at this point. This party has gotten significantly stronger than when we were first here. With the addition of uh, Kane, who has all of the damage. And also Edge has just gotten better, and Palum has learned real spells that do good damage. So I think Odin's going to have a bad day. That's, that's great. Of course it is. Of course he was. That's just how it works. Okay, Odin's gone. Odin was scare too scary to take on the first time I was up here with just Edge, Rosa, Palum, and Porum. Nice. No one's done yet, which is a good sign for me. I mean, I wouldn't expect people to be done quite yet, but, you know. Goodness. Nice, Magus. I should check that. I need to check that. That's a character. That could be my Edward. So we're going to go peek this. Yeah, that that's fair. Honestly, that's a really fair assumption to make. You're not Edward. This does not make me happy. Also, I am very much hoping that Cecil just is really rudely gated by, like, Package or Giant. I want Cecil to not be on the moon, basically. Cecil and Dwarf would hurt a bit as well, because I'm committing to fading Cecil. Because why would I do ordeals with Golbez in the mirror room for a protect ring? Not knowing that there was a crystal sword coming up from Super Cannon.
Moon time. Oh. I'm ready for moon. I mean, the ladder does try to match you up against reasonable opponents. <laughs> that, that is definitely a thing. Let's go start the moon! Nice empty eye! Congrats on the win! Okay. Do I need an item up here? No, I don't. I don't need to sh check items. We're gonna just reset if this is a bad character. Uh, Rydia's out. We've seen Rydia. We've seen the dupe also, because it's not seen maybe. So we've seen the one dupe. Heck yeah! It's the bard! Heck yeah! He's going away. He's not joining the party. But we found him. He's an objective. And that's what matters. And I am going to go dive straight down to the bottom of the moon. Because I want to clear the bottom of the moon. I've got some sirens. I've got a few hourglasses. Because of the trap kit. The trap kit is amazing because I feel like I don't need to buy hourglasses because I can just do a 10 key item double gold dra little double gold dragon grind here and it's great I love it I'm pretty sure this is gonna be my final party why am I walking normally stop walking normally use jumps not gonna do wyvern altar that's too spicy for me I was not super smooth walking down the LST, but it was something. I'm going to check Ribbon Room first. This first check is going to be a boss peak. To see if I want the experience. I don't think I do. I think I'm good. I'm not gonna take that for experience, not early at least. That might be like an end of the end of the grind kind of last capstone bit of experience, but not early. Well, uh, I think I know who that adamant's going to. That's just here's your cane starting kit. Uh, you can have a power shirt now, because I got enough to go around. I don't have enough to go around, but that's fine. Let's peek some other bosses. That's really slow. I mean, it's not super slow. But I'd like levels for that, I think. I think I'm gonna grind. Just wanted to see if there was something super free there. And since there isn't, I'm gonna go grind. Because I can grind fairly quickly with, uh... Thanks to Handy Dandy Dragoon Lance. I got four hourglasses, we're fine. Yeah, Kane Strong. 
Kane's good. <laughs> this is a double gold dragon fight I can get behind. Ten levels for Palum. Jeez. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pop like one more. Just to get up to cure four. Ow. Jeez, you one shot at the back one? Dang, Kane. Kane's too strong. Kane is too good. More levels. Cure 4, life 2, yeah, we're good. That should be enough for a little while. I don't need to go to nuke or anything. Just wanted to get some real damage on this party. I mean, honestly, CPU is not that bad. Okay. Know where DKC is. I don't have to fight DKC. I, oh, I, oh, it was guards at the start. Right. I remember now. There are no Baron guards in this seed. We're going to try CPU. We're just going to clear the moon lawn here. Because I feel ready. And there's not much on the blue planet other than Baron Basement, Fey March, and... Uh, Bar Bay March, Baron Basement, and Dwarf Castle. I feel okay leaving those behind. Given that Mom Bomb... It was kind of rude, basically. We'll bluff up. Goodbye, Defender. Heck, that was not the intended jump target there. You know what? Just, just go for it. Just YOLO. Just YOLO. Rude! Gonna heal up Palin, because Palin could get real hurt here. Don't heal. Oh, Rosie, you need to get this turn in. Good. We needed that turn in before... I don't know, heal whoever's down. You can go for a quake. Because it's good damage. More jumps are getting queued up. Still bounce hopping. Doing damage. And I think I hold A after this with Kane and Yong. Yeah. Kane holding A there was the correct call. 104,000. We got a little mini orb grind there. So we get 100,000 experience off this spot, which is more than you'd usually get. 
Now I'm a little sad I didn't take Edward. But not that sad. Uh, spoon here is fine. We're looking for pink tail and adamant. I need both, so I'm probably going to have to go back to the blue planet. Which is a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, jump, jump. <sighs> Check this boss. The deck track. Hello. It was Octo and a Sparkle in Fey March. That's right. Octo and a Sparkle in Fey March. Mom Bomb in... Uh, Baron Basement. I'll probably go Fame Arch last. Maybe over Dwarf. Because dwar I'm gambling really hard on not Dwarf. Goodbye. Water Hag, thanks for your experience. I appreciate you powering up my party. We should get enough experience from the moon to get uh, Palom up to his big spells. Hey look, it's the Earth Crystal. Neat. That is a second key item up here though, and three is probably like the most I should, would expect. What's the best way to get there? I think it's actually going up here and over. Let's check Crystal Sword Altar, then we can leave the weave, go check the other two spots up here. Because Cave Value is a summon spot, so that counts a little bit differently. I'm kind of hoping Cave Value has the answers, honestly, if any of the summon spots do, because that's the first one I'm going to check. Hello, Dark Imps. I think I can ha handle you. This is like the only things I'm going to use coffins on. I'm never going to use more coffins in the game. There's no way I get that off. Yeah, no way. Goodbye, Dark Imps. I don't need the bonus experience, really. Palum's almost at nuke already. Who do I want to anchor with? Maybe I ditch Edge for an anchor? I don't know. That's good. That's very good for me. Because that's the Crystal Sword Altar, which is not a real popular one to go for. Three key items up here, but that's I'm still going to check Murasame Altar. I haven't gotten anything that tell opens up anything new, really. We're just kind of going through checks. At this point, the pan is the only thing that unlocks new things for my for my party. And I would, without hesitation, run the pan, because it's two more chances to find the adamant. And the adamant would be great. I think I'll wait for Supersmith's weapon to, before I decide what I want. Uh, yes. That, that's correct, Magus. Reduce gravity everywhere except the LST on the moon. Who's at Mura Altar? Okay, this is just rude. I can use a Bacchus here. At least for Kane. Go, White Spear Cane. 
I don't have that many more life pots. This is fine. Young's probably dead from the kick, honestly. Not dead from the kick. Amazing. I was expecting dead from the kick. Now he's dead from the kick. I don't think I got bother getting him back up. He's doing well. Yeah. Palum has nuke now. Who do I give the second Adam and armor to? So I'm having a thought. Based on what we just got right there. I'm having a silly thought. But I think it could work. And it does mean that we won't be using Palum to actually cast spells, but that's probably fine. In the Z fight, I mean. I think I know who the second Adam armor is going on, though. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, let's use a cabin. We're just looking for an adamant wherever it is. Uh, someone has finished. I don't think that would be my opponent. I mean, I'm not sure. Could be. But I don't think it would be. If I if it's Dwarf Castle, maybe, but... I feel like I've been clearing fairly efficiently. Especially if Cecil is not in Dwarf Castle. Leviathan here is fine. This is a really nice spot to see Leviathan, honestly. I'm gonna keep Box and Kane every fight, basically. Because Bacchus Kane is just so good. I have Nuke for this. This is gonna be excellent. Go Kane, go. Go edge go. Just anchor with edge the whole time, it's fine. Who needs real anchoring? Like, real anchoring is for losers. Just anchor with edge. Thanks, Palum. I don't care about Ice 2s, they're not going to hurt very much here. I care about damage. Nice. Don't really need this level up, so I can reset if this is nothing. Which it's nothing unless it's the pack... Pass, pan, or adamant. I have to take that. We're gonna run the pan. I'm running the pan. Yes, I would like that. I should really be tossing more things to that inventory screen. Should also put nuke at the top of Palom's spell list just for ease of access. Let's do that now. I'm hoping this plays off this pays off and gives me the adamant. Cause if not, it's one of the four checks I left behind on the blue planet, and that would just feel a little bad. But also Crystal Sword Altar is a little out of the way, so pink I have a bit of time with that pink tail. I'm gonna grab the Adam Adamant armor now as well. Well I'll grab it I'll grab it on the way back from underground. That'll be that'll make more sense. Yeah, I don't need it now. We'll grab it on the way back up. And then I think I go for Baron Basement, Fae March, then Dwarf Castle last, because Dwarf Castle sucks, and I faded it. And that's the biggest fade, in my mind, is the fade of Dwarf Castle. Yeah, 
because Dwarf Castle is terrible on push B, and it's fine on every other flag set, but I, I hate it on push B. Pan. I mean, finding the pan not at Dwarf Castle feels really good, because this is two more checks. Including another summon check, which I haven't done any of, really. I don't need more White Spears! That's White Spear 3. I only have one cane. Uh, where am I going? Ah, yes. We're gonna go trade pink. I'm gonna take care of this now. I don't really need a pass. Like, I don't care about finding the pass so much. The pass would be nice if I take... Like, if I find it, I'll take it. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. That's another adamant armor. Second adamant armor acquired. Probably going on Rosa. For some arty arty action. In the Z fight. I think my plan is going to be Quad Zerk in the Z fight with Rosa, Kane, Edge, and Yong. And Palin will be anchoring. Let's get Sheila 2. Please be the Adamant. I would love that. Because if it's the Adamant, I can go Forge and then go straight to Z. Oh, Pan. I'll take a pass. A pass means I don't have to walk back down. So I'm happily going to walk the pass out. <sighs> Feeling less good, though. Feeling not super great. Go do Baron Basement. Just heal me up with whatever I've got. Only one person is done, and I think I know who that person is, actually. And he could be my opponent, but I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. But I love not knowing. Not knowing is the most fun. Just embrace the- I'm just embracing this edge anchor, honestly. It, it's kind of really fun. Just just embrace the edge anchor for everything. You keep chucking a Bacchus every fight, because I should have enough for everyone for, like, the actual Z fight. Oh yeah, nukes at the top now. Right, we did that. That's good. More nuke damage is good. Fine. Nice whack. Okay. Bomb bomb gone. I don't care that the defense sword is a slight upgrade. I don't. It's not worth walking out. Fame march time. I think I hope my opponent is maybe takes a couple wipes to things that they shouldn't have taken wipes to. I think that's my hope. My opponent makes mistakes at this point. Because I've had decent routing efficiency, it's just like I'm... The adamant is... We're running out of places for the adamant to hide, and I really would like it to be here, because Dwarf Castle is a terrible... is a thing that I've faded. Really hard. But there's... I mean, based, it's slightly more likely to be here, overall. It's not twice as likely to be here, because summon checks have fewer key items on average than the moon checks, especially since we did see a summon check pay off with a pan. Or then the main checks, I should say, but dwarf could be package.
I know you're not my opponent, MDI. I know you're not in the race, MDI. That, that's not... That's not telling me anything. Oh. Um... Important thing. Here. Dragoon Lance for this fight. Because this fight is resistant to holy. So Dragoon Lance will be better. For this particular fight. That sounds like me when I was starting out. Go edge. I don't think Octo's gonna get another turn, really. Because we're just putting out too much damage too quickly. Yeah, Octo's gone. I actually get a level for this. I feel like I'm okay with this as Adamant. Nope, of course not. It's not packaged though, which makes me feel better. I can't actually hold this because... Yeah. Yeah. Heck. You know what? Heck it. We're gonna do this now. I don't care about saving or healing between fights, we're just going to charge in. I got anti-flying stuff set up. Let's go. Go Kane. Hold on, I still have my boomerang. Go edge. Kane go. Kane can do a lot of damage. Edge can also do a lot of damage. Nuke is also just a lot of damage. Good. Okay. Another fight dealt with. There's my adamant. I feel slightly bad, but not the worst. Get me out of here. Dwarf Castle Fade was correct. I feel like I might lose this by a tiny bit. But I don't think my opponent's already done. <sighs> I had a fast overworld because of Edge. I'm trying to think about the things that I have going for me. Edge and Zot was huge. The White Spear Cane came a little late for me, though, as a result of that. Yeah, take that. Um, I will take some crystal rings. I think we'll go 28 agility anchor, actually, because of the crystal ring. If Palom can equip this one, which I think he can, yeah, no, we're totally... We're totally gonna do quad strats plus... Uh, it's gonna be quad strats plus Palom bounces nukes off himself. Okay, you're gonna be a butt, so I'm out. I have a pass, so I can go straight to Z. Don't have a Silk Web, but that's kind of okay if I'm gonna do quad strats. We'll put Palom in the middle. 
with the crystal ring on. Because he should be a pretty good anchor with that. Maybe a Rose is like better. No, Rose is probably too fast. Okay. Um, setup time. Anyone without Zeus Gauntlet gets Crystal Ring. Uh, you're 28. Perfect. Uh, not change. That's definitely not what I want. I want you in the middle. You can equip a service rod, right? Yes, good. That's plenty. I don't need anything else. This is just going to be Bacchus, everyone up, Bale. Uh, I do need to re-equip weapons, actually, on you two. You should have a white spear. Except I can't, because my inventory's full. Heckin' inventory. I know I just tossed the spoon, whatever. Assert dominance by tossing the spoon in the trash. I have a silk web too. Neat. So that's the plan for nerfing. We'll, we'll toss the silk web. Everyone should be plenty fast. Plenty faster than Palum, I should say. Two people just finished, so my odds of winning just dropped a lot. Ha! <laughs> Of course two people finish while I'm doing all that stuff. This is this is not looking good for me. But at least I faded Dwarf Castle. There's still two other people in this race. Well this is gonna be Quadzerk plus Yeah, I think Quadzerk plus uh nukes is gonna be the way to go here. Plenty to Jody Anchor. Zerk up all the side. Everyone, all the friends. Palum does nukes in the middle. I'll veil up Edge. Yeah, we'll veil Edge. Uh, there's my crystal. Throw a veil on Edge because... Edge is... Just because he's there, he's in the top slot, I'll throw the veil on him. He's also not my biggest damage dealer, so I'm fine to have him be zerking up a little later. I'm going to have you toss the silk web now. That I have, right? Yeah, I have it. Good. Silk Web lands. Now we start boxing. That's a little rude. 1200 is fine. We got the 1% Sephiroth. Now we start going. I'm just gonna get everyone going. Bouncing nukes as well for more damage. You can do a single target cure for on yourself just to keep you alive. I'm not sure I trust this party to just straight up quad. Especially with Rosa going very low on hit points here. So I'm going to do this and then we'll zerk her up next turn. Yeah, we'll zerk her up next turn. With Rosa Zerked, we should have enough damage to skip the uh, second Big Bang. And I shouldn't need any other healing. This is just... Go, go, go. Okay, Rosa, got the Zerk off. Now Rosa will be in the queue. I 
I only need to keep the win to keep pushing buttons just to keep inputting nukes. That's like all I'm gonna need to do here is just keep inputting nukes. Because nukes are bonus damage. And bonus damage is good. Go, Rosa! Extra 2,000 damage around is gonna help. And if I lose Edge's damage, it's kind of not great, but it's not the end of the world. I think that was a tip that we just hit. I feel like that was Meteo Tip, though. Maybe. Yeah, that was Meteo Tip. We're done. Did I win? Did I manage to beat someone? In a, in a race? I did! I beat a Stone Dingley! Heck! Heck! Thanks for the GG's, Magasus girl. <laughs> Heck! So what? That and the Stone Dingley was yeah no it was Korgs versus Fried Potato. Korgs won in that race. Invenerable beat Poidrak, and then I beat a Stone Dingley. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, goodness. We cleared everything in that seed except Dwarf. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thanks for the GG's MTI. My losing streak is over! I'm still good at push B! <laughs> Why am I good at push B? This was like... A terrible flag set for me last season, and this season I'm just like crushing it on push B and only push B to be clear. I'm only good at push B, apparently. Where am I in push B right now? But a stone dingley's ranked very high. Push B to jump, I was seventh before. This will push me up to probably close to top. Probably top three, honestly. I think this push B win. Heck. And it's going to make make me back over 1600 globally. Hooray. Oh, goodness. Never dwarf. Just never do dwarf. Dwarf is such a time sink. Don't do dwarf on push B. There's so many better things to do. I barely beat Dingley. Oh my. Dingley just finished. Oh goodness. The dwarf fade paid off.
goodness. Goodness, that is basically going to do it for my speed. No, PK was not playing today. Let's listen to some music. Because we don't get to hear heart music during the seat on push B. Wait, my timer is stopped at a terrible time. There we go. <laughs> Just gonna let my timer increment one more second. Great, it's Zelda. Goodness. 